Okay, I'm back with a little review video. And, well, what I'm going to do... I got this uh, filament from uh, 3D Print, New York, dot com. And uh, I got some sample stuff. One of them is uh, Cheetah, which is a fast Ninja Flex kind of stuff. And Armadillo, which is supposed to be really, really tough. I didn't have enough armadillo to print an entire thing. So, you know, I got like halfway done. There's another couple pieces and, well, it was a little stringy. Um, that could just be my settings, but this stuff, it came out with like an eggshell kind of a texture to it. Um, kind of stringy. Not terrible. Um, I don't know what happened. I got a goober and then some burnt goober going on there. Don't know what happened with that. But I just had my kids try and stand on this. And I've been trying to break it and bend it and stuff. You can totally bend it. Um, oops. Not easily, but you, you know. It, let me see. Hold on. Yeah, where am I? Freaking, it's kind of, kind of flexible. Not really. It's just maybe because it's so thin and long, you know. This is hard as a rock. But what we're going to do is put it in this cheap crap little vise. And I've already got, I got a little piece thinking about smashing in there. Let's see what we can do. Mm -hmm. I mean, for one, I'm just going to Give it the what for. Damn. Well, it hasn't really done anything. It just kind of smushed a little bit. A little scoring from the pattern, but it compressed just barely a little bit. And that was, that was layer on. That was like just putting compression on the actual layers, like as it was built, because it was built that way up. So it's just kind of like taking all your layers and smashing it. This is across the layers. Anything made out of ABS by now would have shattered. So... Gave it a couple cranks already, but I mean, damn, I think we got it to crack barely. Well, it didn't bounce back. And actually, it did not crack. Damn. Yeah, like there's, I need light. Um, maybe. I mean, yeah, it deformed. I could probably put it back in there and smash it back flat again. But it is still in one solid piece. If I took some ABS, did the same thing. Let's see what happens. We'll go sideways. Let's 
didn't take much. Crunch. My focus sucks on this thing. Um, I'm so sorry about that, but yeah, it's, you know, failed. Um, so there is a guy, my one and only subscriber. How you doing? Um, apparently I've put him off to ABS. Um, ABS is good unless you are, you know, you really want some durability out of it. Then, yeah, screw ABS. Um, everything that I've made has been ABS except for, you know, a couple of just, you know, PLA pieces of junk, you know, uh, Darth Vader Buddha, you know, like just statues and toys and crap. Some of that's been, um, PLA, but most everything I do is ABS and ABS, aside from a little bit of shrinkage and a little bit of warpage, here's my trick. You take Elmer's glue sticks, and Elmer's glue sticks, right? So you take those, right? And you put like four or five layers on your bed. Heat the bed for ABS, um, well, I got it at like 80 or 90 degrees. Um, but I'll put, I'll put a, an even layer on the bed, let it dry with the bed on. You know, just let it dry, put another layer, let it dry, put another, do like four or five coats of that. And I defy you to get your part off of the bed after that. Because there's times, you know, I mean, my, my printer came with a, a little scraper to try and get that off the bed. No. Came with this. Too thick. The metal on that is just too thick. So I actually have to use a razor blade and get around the edges and then a broad thinner knife to really get it up. But then there's another trick. If you let the bed cool completely, that's why there's a fan, um, a lot of the times I can come in here and just give it a nudge and just pick it up. And I don't even have to add more glue. I always do add more glue. But I mean, really, I won't clean my bed for like a long time. Unless, unless I really need that, that bottom finish to be nice and clean, like this bottom finish, that's where it was stuck to the bed. Right here-ish. A little off. But, and this, I had to, I didn't even wait for the bed to cool off. I just stuck my blade under there and gave it a good pop and it popped right off. But I haven't, I, I printed a wrench yesterday, and the wrench was from here to here. And not so much as one degree of warpage, like just flat as, a, just flat. So, you know, that's my opinion on that. Um, I haven't gotten around to trying this um, cheetah. It's like Ninja Flex kind of stuff. Flexible filament, it's supposed to print quicker, better, easier. Just haven't tried it because I don't know what I want to make out of it. I hate wasting, you know, free stuff. Actually, I think they charged me a couple bucks each, but whatever. Um, and and one of the other cool things about ABS is you can print. All right here's 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 the thing. I just recently printed this a couple days ago. And it's mechanical. Yeah. I printed it out of PLA two times. Both times, I literally had to destroy it to get it apart to see what the heck was going wrong with it because it was fused shut. It's a, it's a print and place mechanical object. Which means, you know, you, you might have to chisel a couple of tabs and do a little bit of poking at it. But generally speaking, it should come off of the printer just about mechanically functional. Um, the wrench that I did was a crescent wrench. It was the same kind of a thing. Um, but the PLA, no matter what I tried, I tried it three different times. And I had to destroy them every time just to, because they wouldn't move. I couldn't free them. And I had to, um, I had to find out what was going wrong. And uh, yeah, they were all fused. And then I switched to ABS. 
Uh, one of these, all I had to do, there's these little tabs in the back. Uh, it prints with these little bitty tabs right in there. One of them, all I had to do is free those tabs and then just barely poke around the edge down there. Uh, and the other one, uh, I just had to free the tabs. And that was it. Boom, it worked. So ABS doesn't, or PLA is not always the best stuff. Um, and also, if you do ever have a problem with your ABS uh, giving you problems with like layer adhesion or cracks, there's always acetone. Um, it screws up your finish. It, it'll, it'll go from a, I kind of like this dull lined finish. But um, if you want to make it shiny, just apply a small coat of acetone. But it also, you can glue stuff together with acetone with ABS. Um, pretty much everything, that's ABS. These are two different. Where did it go? There it is. These are two different uh, style spool holders. ABS, 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 ball bearing. Um, ABS. ABS, ABS, fan shrouds, ABS, that's ABS, I know, uh, so, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't have a big problem with ABS, um, here's some support material from a skull, I did a full size skull, PLA, PLA's fine, but I had to chisel this thing off, I mean, this is one of the first things I ever printed, and it, jeez. Um, I, I got bad problems with having support material in PLA, and it just never works for me too good. And yes, I, I, the, my workshop, this is it. I'm in a crappy little basement. See, I'm in a crappy little basement. <sighs> And I got all this plastic wrap up to keep humidity out and <laughs> bugs. If you've ever met a house centipede, you know what I mean. And um, try and just kind of keep the temperature controlled in here a bit. So I got that absorbent crap. Yes, I need, I need to clean. I'm a mess. But, you know, I'm still learning all this junk. So those are just my opinions for now. Um, when I do try this flexible stuff, I'll get back to you. I have already printed something with Ninja Flex. That. Not that great. Not that bad, but not that great. So, I don't know, that, that, that's really all I got to say about that. Uh, if you if you got any questions, just hit me up. Um, I'll see what I can uh, pass on to you. Um, Pretty much, I just print a bunch of junk off a of Thingiverse. I'm still learning how to design it. Um, but yeah, this stuff, it's called Armadillo. Really good. Tough as nails, I swear. I just, this is my first time printing with it, with the sample they sent me, so. Man, that's, I wish I had more of that, because I can make all kinds of really tough stuff with that. This is supposed to be a toothpaste roller upper thing, so I wanted it to make tough. Because uh, the kids don't want them to break it. But I ran out of filament. So I was just barely enough to print that and about that much of the, the knob handle thing. And that's the cap for the knob handle thing to hold it in. Which, oh, screw it. So, yeah, I think that's it. All right, well, um, thanks for subscribing. I'll see if I can make this a decent channel. Um, right, see you later. Bye.